Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an online tutoring website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix. And the reason why I recommend Wix Website Builder is because it is beginner friendly, meaning it is easy to use and it also offers numerous customization features. And you can get started for completely free. So all you will need to do is go onto Wix.com. From there, you can sign up using your email address. Once you're signed up, I want you to tap on Create New Site. After selecting Create New Site, you're going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. Once you have tapped on Create on Wix Editor, you'll be redirected to this page. And you can see that you also have the option to start with AI, but I normally recommend that you tap on set up without AI. The reason why I recommend this is with this, you'll be able to customize and set up your website to your liking. So all you'll need to do now, you could type in tutoring right there. And from here, you can see tutor, tutoring services, tutoring school, and we're going to be selecting online tutor. Then tap on next. After you have tapped on next, from here you can enter the name for your website. So you can type in the name right there. Then tap on next. After you have selected next, you will be redirected to this page. And these are the different plugins that will be added to your website. So you can see the booking plugin that will allow your students to book you for different times for you to tutor them. And you will also be able to share, stream and sell your videos. And we are also going to be selling subscription packages. So we'll select that. And if you plan on selling an online course, you could select online programs right here and you'll be able to send online training programs. You can also scroll down and you can see different features that you can add. If you would like to add a blog, you could select blog right there. If it is a case that you would like to create a forum or so on, you could select forum. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After selecting next, you will be redirected to this page and we're going to tap on begin with a template. After selecting begin with a template, you will be redirected to the themes page. And the thing that I love about Wix website builder is it provides you with numerous themes that makes even a complete beginner easy to create a website that looks and operates professionally. So you can see the different templates right here that you can choose from. So let's say for example, I would like to use this template all I would need to do is tap on edit, then give it a few seconds while the AI composes your website. From here, you can see that Wix provides us with the option on which we could tap on this box and you could provide some information on the Wix AI will compose articles or content that can be added to your website. But for now, we'll tap on the X in the top to close that pop up. Then we are going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. After selecting the plus 50%, you can see how our website moment. So your Wix website in the header section, you can quickly do that. All you'll need to do is simply hover over the section that you would like to edit. So you can hover over the header section. Then you will see the option quick edit. You can tap on that. Now let's say for example, you would like to change the image right here. All you'll need to do is go over to the right hand column section and right where you see column background, you could tap on change. After selecting change, you could select image. And after selecting image, a pop-up is going to appear. From here, you could choose to tap on upload media and you could upload an image from your device or you can simply type in tutoring right here, then tap on enter 
And from here, you will see some copyright free images that are provided by Wix that you can use. So for example sake, let's say I would like to use this image. I could simply tap on the image, then select change background. Now you can see that the background image has now changed. And it is as easy as that to customize your new online tutoring website. Once you're finished, you'll tap on the X in the top right hand corner. Now, if you would like to add something to a page that you don't see, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner, tap on the plus that says add elements. Then from there, if you would like to add a text box, you can simply drag the text box to where you would like to place it on the page. You can also add images, buttons, videos, anything at all that you would like to add to your Wix website, you will find it in the add elements section. Anything at all that you want to add, you'll find right there. So now if you would like to view the other pages on your website and start editing it, all you'll need to do is tap on home. Once you have tapped on home, you can see these are the pages that are currently on our website. Now to access or to edit the services page, we'll tap on services right there. Then it is going to carry us to the our services page. So you can see them right here. And we are going to be editing these. So we are going to tap on manage services. So all you have to do is hover over the services section, then tap on manage services. Then from there, you're going to automatically be redirected to your Wix dashboard. Once on the Wix dashboard from here, you will be able to select the different services that you would like to offer as an online tutor. And you can also set up the prices and so on. I will also be showing you how to set up the payment methods that you would also be able to offer to your, you can scroll down and you can see the booking services. So you can see introduction, English, science, and all you'll need to do is simply tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit from here, you will be redirected to that particular service. And then you can change the service name if you want. You can also change the service price. And if you would like to add a cover image, you can do that by tapping on add image right there. To scroll down so you can see it right here and you can change the price, you can change the location and so on. So at the moment it is set as free, but you could tap right there. You could select fixed price. Then from here, you can select the price that you would like to offer the service at. Then you'll simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on save, you can also set up other services that you don't see on your website at the moment. So let's do that real quick. I'll be showing you how to add other services. All you'll need to do at the top right hand corner, you're going to see the option to add new services. You can simply tap on that. So let's do that real quick. So if we were to tap on add a new service right here, you can scroll down and you can see the different services right there that are added to our website already. And you could tap on start from scratch. And from there, you can create a service that you would like to add. And by the way, by going over to the left hand menu option, hovering over booking calendar and selecting calendar, and you'll be able to view the different time slots that persons have booked you for. And by scrolling down, so we are going to scroll down until you see payment. So we are going to scroll down, you'll see billing and payments. You're going to hover over that and you're going to select payments. After selecting payments, you'll be redirected to a page that says payment method. You're going to tap on that. And depending on the country that you're located in, you will see different payment options. For example, at the moment, I'm located in Jamaica. So you can see that I'm provided with the Tilopay option and also the PayPal option. But if you would like to offer your customers more options, you can simply change the location of your business or website. 
To do that, you could tap on change right here. Then from there, you could tap on the search bar, type in, for instance, United States, then select it, tap on choose. After selecting choose, you will see that I'm now provided with more payment options. For example, I now have the Wix payment option right there that will allow me to accept Apple Pay, Google Pay, Affirm, and so much more. And by tapping on see more payment options, you can see that I'm provided with even more payment options that I can connect. So I can connect AAA, which will allow me to collect crypto payments and so on. So it is quite easy to use and to set up numerous payment options. Once you're finished, you'll go back over to the left hand menu option. On the left hand menu option, you can also see online programs. You could tap on that. And from there, you can set up online courses. If you would like to offer online courses, you can create an online course right here that you can sell to your customers. So you could tap on create new right there and you will be able to create online courses. You can see some sample courses that have been added and you could use these sample courses template to create your own or what I would recommend you do if you are completely new to this is that you use ChatGPT to assist you and to create an outline. Once you're finished, you'll tap on the X to close out and then you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. Then you'll tap on publish and from there your website will now be live. I should tell you that to accept payments through Wix, you will need to go onto their paid plan. But their paid plan is quite affordable as it starts off at $12 or $17 if I'm not mistaken and it is definitely worth it. As with a one year plan, you will be able to get a free domain name and so much more. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful and informative, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.